Hi there and welcome. This is Lavender Sky Panther. Today is Wednesday, June 15th, 2022, and the topic for the day is called Craft Hover. It's a collection of images and sky observations happening June 2nd through the 9th, 2022, and this is show number 156. And as nearly usual, I have a couple of cover slides, a, a main one like this and an alternate, because uh, sometimes I just don't know which one to go with. I like them both. See which one you like the best. Uh, they each have their own special qualities, and we'll cover them and touch on them in the show coming up. Now, before we get into things with the Sky Observations part of the show, I'd like to offer up two words, wisdom, and spirit of the day pages. This time around, I pulled um, two cards from two different oracle decks, and I'm just going to go through them verbatim. I'm just going to read them, and for anyone who's just tuning in for the Sky Observations part of the show, feel free to skip ahead. I don't mind. Uh, for anybody else, you might be looking for some wisdoms or words or numbers popping up to help you along your way on your day today. So this one is starting with eight, number 18, the green man. And it's, this is coming from the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds guidebook for, for the Oracle deck by Lucy Cavendish with illustrations by Gilbert Williams. It's a beautiful deck, actually. And the green man here is, uh, has some, a little sub, subtext to it. It's, it says, rising energy surge, and then fertility. Actually, I missed a comma there. So rising, comma, <laughs> energy surge, fertility. And I'm just going to read a partial quote from, from the book. Uh, the book goes into more depth. This is just to give you a little bit of a taste if you're not familiar with it. And also there might be a message um, that works for you or that you were kind of waiting for today. Maybe you find it here. So I'll just read it. You have inside of you the keys to speak to the trees and the flowers, to rise earlier, rest deeper, feel the song of the soul, hear the song within you, and feel the song of the world inside you, beneath your feet. It is time to take off your shoes and place your feet back into the earth, to let the guidance of the green man help you to choose what you eat and what you drink, and to grow again, dear child of the earth. Never forget that while you are surely made of the stars, you are born to the earth, and this earth is a blessing and full of joys. Lie in the sun, tend to the garden inside and in the world. Grow something, start something yourself. Reach out like the plants and move toward the sun. Let the light within you grow brighter and come from the place where you felt safe. For now it is time to expand into the world and let nature be your guide and let the shining life within you warm all that is about you. Um, that is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to... Uh, go through some symbolisms and extra meanings on the card itself. Other than, I do like this card in conjunction with sky observations that I talk about because this really does kind of represent the sun and look at these glorious rays and as they turn into the foliage and its connection to the earth is exquisite. We have in little stars, have little. we even have little dots back in here kind of representing the stars, so I believe it all ties in. See if it has any meaning for you, feel it out. Now we'll go to the second Spirit of the Day page, and this one comes from a gorgeous deck as well called the Celtic Spirit Oracle, Ancient Wisdom from the Elementals by uh, Nicola McIntosh. And uh, I invite you to go check out what she's about. Um, she's doing some really beautiful work also with plant medicine. She has a book out and a lot of other things going on. So this one is number 29, Heart Center, with a little subtext connection, Love Receiving. And there's a lot more to this, the uh, description in her, her little guidebook, companion book to this. But I'm just kind of grabbing what, you know, jumped out to me for this show. So this says, uh, working with fairy energy also requires you to have an open heart. It requires you to be full of love for everything around you, the trees, the land, the animals. It requires sincerity, honesty, and respect. When you come with an open heart full of love, you will be given access to the other realms, where so much more awaits you. And boy, isn't that the statement of the millennia here. So again, I'll leave this to you to ponder on your own. I'm not going to really cover any of the symbolisms other than, you know, you have the key, which is a solid piece of metal, and you have an opening, which is, you know, completely open. And it takes the two to make some, um, to really open things up, so if you look at the key as representing the 3D density, you know, 3D earth realm, and you look at this as the void that goes on into infinity, uh, endless galaxies, you know, anything you can think of, different realms, higher realms, like the heavenly realms, um, it does take 
our uh, knowing who we are here in the 3D and our willingness to be open to everything else to really see the domain of the magical open up before us. All right, now let's get into the sky observation portion of the show this time around now. Um, I am gonna start with some videos of some sky observations this time. They're very short clips. And then I'm going to just uh, take one of the videos and then break it down a bit with screenshots to highlight some of my points. So here we go. This one I do recommend if you have any um, earphones uh, earbuds, whatever, to plug them in because there's a nice little crack of lightning at the end of this one. So here we go. Okay, now this storm was moving in rather oddly, suddenly, extremely low in the sky. And I'll, here I'll replay it. And what was strange about it was not only how low in the sky it was, it felt otherworldly, it felt like there was cloaking craft up there. The lightning felt and looked extremely artificial, and I ex I'll explain that a little bit better in video clip number three coming up. Um, but let's, in the fact that there's, there were no lightning bolts, and I've covered that on other shows, where it just seems like a lamp, like lamps flashing, no evidence of bolts, everything feels like not, you know, real, it feels artificial, not natural in the sky. Uh, I base that on having lived in this area for many, many decades, and I'm noting the changes in the lightning storms. I do cover that on other shows. Even down to the rain, you don't smell it coming anymore. I think uh, people, if you've been here on the planet for many decades, you will recall that too, that you could smell a rainstorm before it arrived. Now, just stuff drops and you can't even really smell it. So there, that's a notable change. Also, there's a, a, a really stark absence of rainbows in this area where I am. I'm looking at the skies above Miami, Florida, typically. This is subtropical to tropical climate where we used to have a ton of rainbows. Now they're, you know, rarely show up, you know, if ever. Um, that's also a very notable change among many others. And let me step back one more um, little step back. I forgot to mention. So if you, whether you're new or returning to this channel, thank you so much for being here right here right now. I really appreciate it whether you can just stick around for a little bit and hop in or whether you're here for the whole show. I hope you enjoy it. And so uh, I just am noting strange things happening in our skies of late. And that's all I'm going to say for now. I really am going to leave it to you on your own time and invite you to go look at some of my previous shows to get more of the details. I just want to jump into this for now. So here we go. Um, so let's play this one more time. See, that looks really fake and artificial. Okay, and we're not seeing any lightning bolts. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, now here's another view. Uh, we were looking to the north. Now we're going to be looking to the north, northwest. And what I want to note is, before I run it, the, the footage, is this piece here is extremely low in the sky, even lower than the already low cloud activity. And I put cloud in quotes because it's acting really weird. There's a really strange otherworldly illumination happening above this whole mass. And even the way it moved, it kind of followed me from the north as I was returning home from an errand. And then it lingered around and part of the system moved this way, another part moved the opposite way, another part moved yet another way. And that is not typical for the skies of this area in Miami. <laughs> and so it was behaving really weird. So I, I had enough reason to suspect there was cloaking craft going on up above this thing. It even, it, and even the whole system like moved in one direction and then it started to come back. So it was just really bizarre. But we'll get into some of the stills, you know, in, in the show later on and break it all down in more detail. But here we go. I'm going to run this clip too. Okay, and now we're going to jump to another clip. This one gets really interesting. So it's about all at about the same time frame. We're looking north northwest still, and the storm started to change and morph. And again, the way that these quote unquote clouds—they don't even look like you know real clouds. They look artificial because they're all like disintegrated, have a weird fringe edge to them, and they're extremely low in the sky. I mean, extremely low. And then we've got this reddish pink hue in the back, while we have this white ethereal light happening above. And again, I do suspect that's indicating cloaking craft all over the place here. So I'm going to run this clip, and then I am going to break this one down. Uh, I took three screenshots of it, the, the most important ones, and I'll break it on down. So the question here is, no lightning bolts? Okay, and on top of no, mo no, no lightning bolts, you'll see the screen is absolutely like split in a weird way. 
And it's just like as if the sky is a screen and there's a projector flashing the light because when that split screen happens, it doesn't happen in front of the foliage in the foreground nor this foliage. It's like running and pertaining strictly to the quote unquote sky screen in the back. I'll, I'll play it again so you see what I mean. And then I'm gonna break it down so you see it even clearer, okay? Let's see, I'm gonna run this one more time. So, oops, sorry, since it's a short clip, here we go. Okay, so take note of that, and now we're gonna break it down. So on the one hand here, uh, actually I'm gonna break it down first with the original photos, and then I'm gonna show you the same three photos coming up with enhancements on them. And if you're new, enhancements means I simply take the original photo and I edit attributes of it, such as color, uh, saturation, brightness, contrast, things of that nature, okay? Just I up or lower the levels of it to pull out and highlight what I'm talking about in these photos and what I see emerging. So in this case, I'm like, huh, no lightning bolts. Every storm I know of growing up, even the big crashing thunderous and lightning ones, you would see an actual bolt of lightning. And this just looks like one big ball, you know, There's or a lamp, I, I like to say it sometimes. Now we're gonna look at this one and another uh, flash that was off of that video we just saw, that video clip. Now it's not a ball, but it kind of elongates. This is a very long, you know, hard edge happening here. In no way, shape, or form is that lightning. Those aren't lightning bolts. And then here we go to an absolute whiteout. Now again, note how, you know, if some say, oh, it's just digitally and it's forming bands or whatever. Well, if that were the case, then this entire, even the foliage in front, all of it would be a whiteout. But it's really only pertaining to what I'm just going to call a sky screen now, like a movie screen in the back. It is really bizarre. Now I'm going to take those three photos we just looked at, and now uh, we're going to do enhancements. So remember that one I said looked like a ball? Well, with more enhancement on it, editing the contrast and the color saturation, look at this. We've got, it looks like just a big white ball flashing, you know, generating what was supposed to be lightning. Next one, look at these straight, straight edges, and they're on angle. You know, that's not lightning. <laughs> and then here, you know, total whiteout just still, it remains kind of a total whiteout. So once again, though, that is not lighting up the trees, like right next to me, nor in the immediate foreground. So what the heck is going on here? I'm going to leave that as food for thought for you. All right, now we'll get into the uh, heart of the sky observations portion of the show. Um, where we're going to do some side-by-side -side comparisons and I break things down and when I put, drop the letters in I'm just highlighting key elements that I'm finding in the photos but clearly uh, you're going to see more and more the more you look at these photos that I don't touch on just the way this goes because it's impossible for me to catch everything and touch on all of it like within under an hour so here we go on this uh, left hand side I was looking up and I just noticed I started to see an elliptical shape with symmetry and as I've said on other shows at nauseum, when I see something symmetrical with the pure geometry, geometrical form, especially with hard edges and angles, you better believe that's not a natural cloud. So we look to the right, and these look like two perfect uh, imprints of perfect geometries. Look at this. It's an ellipse, okay? Uh, oval form, however you want to call it. And then this one looks like it has like pointed ends to it. So these to me look like two huge cloaking craft. In this case, they look like sky imprints, you know, or objects in the void, um, you know, versus other things that I catch, you might see actual machine parts popping out of it and stuff. Anyway, see what you see in these. I see two clear shapes at A.1 and over here at B.1. Okay, now we're gonna look west, northwest. And I noticed off, uh, it was getting dark, so things are gonna be a little fuzzy and grainy. But I noticed a really dark shape emerging from this supposed cloud that's reddish pink in the distance. So with some enhancement, oh, and this is just a lens flare over here. Um, so on the right-hand side, we run the enhancement on it and we get a pure, you know, look at that different light source happening, sandwiched between reddish pinks. And then this gets into that ethereal kind of cyan, white, blue. And what are these? Look how straight these dark shadows are in parallel to each other. While this is coming up on angle emerging, so I do suspect cloaking craft going on up in that vicinity. Now we're gonna zoom in on that shadowy shape that I was looking at and we're gonna put enhancement on it. And it does look different. It's a different animal than everything else happening around it, so to speak. Um, now that I'm looking at this lighter uh, light source, something has to be generating that locally. That's not the sun in the distance. And if anything, we're already seeing that the sun generating sunset in the distance is uh, casting off this reddish, you know, pink. Now, 
for what could be causing this reddish pink signature in the sky, do look at my description box below for a little more background story on what could be happening there. See what you think. Now, back to this. This is really a different energy light source happening right in there. Anyway, slice it. And the more we look, we start to see rigid parts and pieces and lines and things and shadows happening that are showing me there's got to be some type of cloaking craft in there. This is probably something cloaking as well because it's so solid. Uh, see what you think is going on with that story and that scene. Now we're going to look south toward the evening. It's about 8.30. And this was a standalone weird little shape doing its own thing. Not a cloud. You can't call that a cloud shape. So with the enhancement, we see it looks like a very perfect, you know, geometrical form. Look at that curve. I mean, that's a sharp edge of that curve in here as well. So to me, that's some type of cloak and craft. You are going to hear me sound like a broken record because <laughs> whenever I put strange cloud activity, I'm referring to what I suspect to be cloak and craft. And for detailed reasons shown in the body of this work here on this channel uh, up till now. Okay, so now uh, we're going to look east. And this was just strange. This was in the morning. What was there, there was a lot of strangenesses for many reasons. The sun was already, wherever the sun is supposed to be here, it was way too high in the sky for this hour and this location. And then, you know, just putting some enhancement on it. I do see a triangular form here. This kind of just sprang up out of nowhere. Oh, and look up here at 8.1. That's an outline of something, of a, of a geometry. You see like the incised line around it, a cutout around it. That's kind of a perfect geometry right there as well. So again, I see the tip of a triangular form here. It's very well masked with some of this quote unquote cloud patterning. Uh, but here's another one. The more you look, the more you're going to see. I invite you to do that. Okay, now this one gets very strange. Uh, not only do I see a pure form, a dark form up here. Now it looks very triangular, like a point down here. It looks like an arrowhead, actually, if you follow my cursor, tracing that around. However, it also might be a part of a much larger craft up above. Sometimes, you know, it's easy to get caught up in the detail of things and miss, like, the bigger picture, so to speak. Uh, so there could be something massive behind here, and we're just seeing parts of it. But what really intrigued me was this spherical shape or egg-like shape with these, like, negative lines cut into it. So we look to the right. Again, I think actually now that I see uh, 8.1, this looks like it, it's a much bigger, longer shape diving down vertical. And look at this spherical thing. What the heck? That's not a natural cloud. Look how perfect that curve is as well, like that egg shape. And what the heck is this? You know, no cloud would create lines like this parallel to each other and then like perpendicular. Uh, it's all very bizarre. And then this is starting to look like where my cursor is. Like this could be metal or metallic, some kind of machine part. So what I believe is happening is we've got some kind of craft diving down this way with cloak, heavy cloak on it. And when I talk about cloak and cloaking material, I just call it plasma. A lot of times that's going to be my go-to to define it. Define it. It just means something heavier and denser than water vapor that hangs around the sky a long time. It lingers there and can cloak and cling to cloaking objects very well to conceal them. Now I am looking east up at the sky in the morning. And this just looks strange. I mean, we have a, a form emerging. You know, it looks ellipsoidal. This one up too, up here too, is ellipsoidal. And then on top of it, it looks like we have a triangular form, you know, hiding in there. Also something vertical happening here. Look at this tracing here, this outer line. It looks like somebody, you know, cut through here and made a, a symmetrical shape because this angle and this angle, you know, it's like mirrored. So there's a lot going on in this scene. Plus, I've never seen clouds, you know, come up like this and dog leg back. And, you know, it's just really bizarre. And also, anywhere you see these darker imprints, I think could be cloak and craft as well. Here's an example. This looks like a downturned triangular form. So there's a lot of layers of this stuff. I think could be we could be looking at, you know, into a series of dimensions, different things happening on different levels. Or it could just be as these things are coming in and out of their state, phasing in and out of state, that's making this all look multi-layered. But anyway, look at this. Now it looks like we have a pointed elliptical form and just something really strange and pointed happening back here. Well, this is, you know, an ellipse, a pointed elliptical form, like, like the front of a fish. And then, you know, really strange things are like little blur, blur outs and fuzz outs. Tell me there's, there's action happening in here. Look at this fuzzy thing diving down on a totally different angle. And then here we have again this like fish-like ellipsoidal shape in the, in the negative, like I call... Um, you know, a sky imprint. So, and again, up here, I suspect something's happening up in here. So see what you can find in this scene. We're going to zoom in on some of these ellipsoidal forms just to see if we can see anything better. You know, look at that's a perfect shape. It's symmetrical. 
Uh, anyway, see what you see in this. And then here I see a triangular form here, a dark void of one, right? All right, now we're going to look to the north, and this is toward the evening. And things are just looking strange, a little blurry, a little strange, not like cloud activity. On top of it, we have a straight line off here to the right, these little bits, but then yet they have concentric kind of circle segments happening in here, all parallel kind of. And then something happening in here looks really odd. So with enhancement, look at this. A whole new world opens up of what we can see. Some type of form, you know, very clear round. Again, look at that hard edge, you know, making a curve. A cloud doesn't do that like that. And then what's all this stuff coming off of this thing? And it's frayed. And look at the energetic trajectories, like, you know, coming out this way from this thing. It's like things are bursting out of whatever is being concealed in this dark mass. Um, this is another one. Look at the color signatures. We got reddish, but then we got incredible, you know, violet going on. And then things just get all changed and morphed out in different ways. But again, look at the en the energetics of it. We got a dark form, like a pointed ellipse here, half of one anyway. And then we have something shooting off at this angle, all while it looks very disturbed. So I think we've got, we've caught something as it's like exploding out of this mass. So like a craft exiting another bigger craft is what I'm going to say for now. I don't know what these little bits are, but anyway, see what you think is going on in that scene. Okay, now we're going to look to the east, and uh, this looked weird because I could see this line, see this kind of like roof, and then another weird shape formed here, and then something going straight up. So as I've said in other shows, you're not going to have a natural cloud going one way and then something bursting perpendicular out of it or near perpendicular and have it be a natural cloud. So to me, obviously, there is some kind of cloak and craft activity going on up here. And with enhancement, we can kind of see that. Uh, hold on one moment. Okay, I'm back. Um, we can, you know, start to see that this thing, especially at 8.1, is going straight up and has some mysterious little structure to it and shape that is not like anything else smooth happening, undulating down below. So we're going to zoom in just on that upper piece and look at this. It looks like this kind of, I don't know what you call it, one of those like, um, what do they call them? Those like little sticky, prickly hitchhikers that end up on your socks. That's like a ball with spines on it. <laughs> kind of reminds me of this between that and a hybrid with that and, a, and a, a, wa um, a walnut or something. It's really weird. But it looks like this ball, we'll just call this spiky ball, whatever, star thing, just kind of like shot down. Like this looks like the tra trajectory or like a vapor trail. You know, that it just flew down this way. Or it could be launching up. You know, it looks like there might be vapor trail going upward. And that whatever this thing is, looks like the top of some type of craft. And it just got launched off of it. I don't know. Is it a craft? Is it a sensor? Is it some type of instrumentation that goes up in the sky and does something? I don't know. This one is really, really intriguing. I have not seen anything like this before. See what you think it is. Okay, now we're looking southeast. And again, look at A. I started to see a pointed elliptical shape happening up here. So we look to the right, and here it is. You know, that's obviously something in the sky looking pretty symmetrical there and has density to it. And yet right next to it is something going on a different angle here and just weird texture all over the place. And on top of it, when you look at the light signatures, we've got a burst of, like, whitish activity. Now keep in mind, we're looking east or nearly east, southeast, there shouldn't be any bright white activity right over here at like almost dark, you know. So what is going on? You know, you see what you think. I think that's an energy source of other craft, you know, backlighting all of this. All right, now we're going to look northwest again toward almost 8 o'clock. And really dark, weird, low storm activity again started brewing. And then we got a golden, what looks like close to our original sun. And that's another whole other story. If you look at my previous shows, I'd cover... The idea of the solar simulator, or actually more and more factual evidence emerging by the second of that, um, or, you know, artificial sun. But at least now we have like a little bit of a golden glow around this one. So maybe we're seeing our original sun in the background because the artificial sun or solar simulator puts out just a steady white glare ball of, of a mess that doesn't even feel like our natural sun. I think that's what's going on over here. Anyway, we look at it with enhancement, and look what is going on. <laughs> so above this dark, dark band of, like, really black cloud, above, look at this. We, it looks like we have the edge of a craft or some type of triangular form with something shooting up out of it, maybe. Something up here as well. So when we get into this cyan, white, ethereal, it looks like otherworldly light. i got to say that's craft activity up there. And look at right down here below, such a stark contrast. 
then we've got the white, we've got some golden, and then we've got some reddish color. And what the heck is going on here at D.1? Look at that object there. So I'm going to say there's cloak and craft coming out of this thing and happening above. See what you think. All right, now the top version here is the enhanced version, and the photo below is the original. This is a little bit distorted because I'm taking a panorama looking north to the left to the south to the right. And so it's not like a true version, but you can see not like a flat out, you know, just looking straight one way version. It's going to be a little bent, um, a little like fishbowl like, if you will. But you can still kind of see what's going on. So when we look at 8.1, that's the thing that I zoomed in on that looked like the spiky ball or whatever. So you can just see we got movement coming along this way and then bam, that's shooting up straight up out of that. That's a trajectory. That's energetic movement. That just doesn't happen at a right angle, you know, to this other cloud system going on. So again, and it looks like, remember I said it looked like it maybe had a trajectory, like a trail that it was a vapor trail that was flying down this way. I wasn't sure if it was flying down or if it was shooting up. And look at this whole thing looks like a trail leading up to it. So I'm still not sure what's going on here. It would imply that it like arced in like this way, but with this movement, I'm a little confused about that one. See what you think is going on. All right, then we're gonna look at another part of that whole weird mess, I'll just call it in the sky. Uh, we're looking west, northwest, and you know, look, we've got this going this way with a pretty flat edge at the bottom. We've got stuff arcing and curving this way while this looks like ellipsoidal stuff going off this way. So a lot of contradictory movement, which tells me that can't be a normal cloud system in this area uh, of the world, because in the past we would just have cumulus clouds and they would just move predictably one way or the other. They might all billow up big to be a big anvil thunderhead kind of cloud system um, and, and bring heavy rain, but this is not doing any of this. This all looks frayed, disintegrated, loosely put together, uh, moving in ways that natural clouds would not uh, so I'm going to say once again, suspected cloak and craft all over the place here. And then we're going to, you know, to confirm that, I'm catching another scene. Actually, this is looking to the north, not northwest. Uh, but in this one, we catch, you know, these triangular forms that which look like they have cloaking material tufted around the edges. Look at this, a downturned triangle. That's a symmetrical form with straight, straight edges. Here, too, looks like a rectangular form. So that's got to be non-natural, a.k.a. artificial things happening in the sky, which I'm calling cloak and craft. Even right next to it, we have a triangular form with a straight edge. You know, if you could put like a ruler up to it, that ain't a natural cloud. Okay, now we're going to look to the northwest. We're going out and about town, looking up. Weird things happening over here. Just overall strange. This thing is like diving vertical. Stuff is like curving. This looks like a point of a triangle at sea. So with enhancement, I couldn't get at too much more, uh, just that this is cha a chaotic mess and not a natural cloud system, uh, you know, doing all different kinds of crazy things. So I'm going to leave this up to you. This one will be the, just for fun, for uh, all of you to take a closer look at uh, when you have a little more time. Weird stuff happened down here too. Okay, now we're going to zoom in. Actually, where are we zooming in? On this 8.1 feature where I'm saying this looks absolutely like a triangle hiding in there. And here it is, a little bit better. You can see it. And here I'm just putting, I'm going to toggle back and forth so you can see what I see, hopefully. Not that I'm just seeing it. There we go. If I can draw straight lines over that outline, that's a geometrical form and not natural. So now we're going to look at this thing in the sky. This is looking north. And again, that doesn't look like a natural cloud in this area. It's extremely low and it's looking like it has rigid forms in there. You know, so see what you see in that little mess. And then once again, we have a triangular form perfectly vertical up, and this one looks like a triangular form diving down. Uh, this overall thing, too, looks like a truncated arrowhead or something. Very bizarre. Okay, now we're going to look to the north, and what caught my attention was what looked like a chemtrail, but I don't think that is a chemtrail. I think it's something else. It was really low in the sky. Um, and then look at the uh, profile. This is doing this like a dome shape, tent shape. Well, this is kind of looking like upward flames, <laughs> and this is doing yet again something else. So, and then the movement here is really strange. So we're going to look at it with enhancement. Oh, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, so now with this enhancement, sometimes I take all color out and just show grayscale or black and white um, because it 
remaps, it retrains our eye and brain to move in a different way and look at things in a different way, and so that, which can be helpful in, when analyzing these things. So, you know, we see that trail, whatever it is, pretty clearly, but there's also like a groove and then another bit. So I don't think that's a chemtrail. I think we got something else going on here of ET nature. Um, but look at this shape. Something weird's happening here. And again, the profile of this is all really, really strange. See what you see. And of course, 8.1 is something looks like it's coming in or out of state. Hold on one, once again. Okay, I'm back. Sorry I had to step away. I made the mistake of burning a kind of incense that I think I'm allergic to. Uh, so it's like tripping up my throat. Anyway, I'm back. So do have a look uh, at this in more detail when you can on your own time. Then we're going to look at this glimpse of looking east. Now, what the heck is going on here? So, <laughs> you know, this whiter thing shooting right up, but we'll look at the right-hand side for the enhanced version, is obviously not a cloud. Uh, so that's either a chemical trail, chemtrail, or something produced by some type of ET craft, I'll say. And then here we have this mass, which also doesn't look like a typical cloud moving along triangular shape here, a point up here. Again, what do you see? Okay, I'm back again. I gotta get rid of that incense. Woo! Okay. Now this one, we're looking north. Ah, hold on one more time. Okay, I think I'm good now. And <laughs> now we're back looking north. And on the left-hand side is the original. And what caught my attention is look at this sharp line. And then it almost goes to a right angle back up toward D. So once again, that's not a natural cloud. Look to the right. You can really see it emphasized here. What is going on? <laughs> also, the various, you know, colors happening. All the color signatures in the back, you know, very varied you know, also say something a little more than that meets the eye is going on there. See what you think? Okay, now this one, we're looking to the northeast. And what caught my attention too is these like weird ridges cut in here, like, um, you know, these lines cut. And also, when you look at this overall thing, if you follow my cursor, that weird kind of white light just seemed out of place. And so we look to the right-hand side. Ah, gotta hold on one more moment. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, there is something I'm allergic to in that incense. I think it's pepper or white pepper, whatever they use to bind the other scent to. Ooh, anyhow, here we go. So on the right-hand side, uh, we see this like whiter, <laughs> you know, like glowing golden kind of stuff happening. So I think that whole thing is an object um, with other little objects in the front. Look, this is like a crescent moon and this is a triangular form. So see what you see in this scene. Okay, now this is another one of those panoramas that are a little distorted and the north is to the right and the south is to the left in this one. But look at this view. Look at, we got a curved line arcing, pretty pure form going on that way with something else happening above it. And I am uh, showing the cursor on the lower um, image. So we go to the top and what really comes out is, you know, like a bigger overall triangular form up here, a massive one. And then, yes, we have this arc going this way, but I couldn't really catch anything in there uh, with the enhancement. And then just something weird is creating this pattern of bright white and then darkness right around it. So hooking around in a weird way, which is not cloud-like behavior. So this is another one of those. See what you can find in this. Could be that this is an overall massive craft. Actually, I want to go back to the image below. Where that arc is, this whole thing could be a massive craft because these look, you know, very regularized, you know, happening up here. It's very interesting, whatever it is. Okay, now we're going to go back looking to the northwest at that really low stormy system. And what caught my eye is not only is there a triangular shaped cloud just sitting right there. It's hard to tell in this version, but I saw it with the naked eye. But also look at this weird ethereal light, this kind of whenever it goes to this white blue glow, you, you can't miss it. You also feel it in the sky. Something very special is happening up here. I gotta say it's cloaking craft. Here with the enhancement, we really see too this extra burst of that same quality of light happening right there 
and here it is down here again. See what else you see in this scene. It was very, it felt very different. Okay, now with that same storm system, you know, we see the left, even without any enhancement, you can tell we got this otherworldly light happening above and all this like turbulent, weird cloud activity moving in very strange ways. So when we look to the right, I got to say, there's Cloak and Craft up here generating this uh, isolated, you know, disturbance in the sky and, <clears throat> sorry, and clearly with this otherworldly light. So see what you see, though. I'm going to go back a second. And then just for reference, it's like this thing just erupted above. And, you know, again, we've got this ethereal light going white and cyan. And then down at the horizon where the sunset is supposedly setting, look how warm it is. It's orange, you know, a little bit of pink. So this clearly is something else entirely, you know, altogether. Okay, this is a little fuzzy. Things were getting dark. It gets a little grainy. But we're going to look at A and B on this one. <clears throat> Again, we see a little bit of the pinker signature down here with that cyan white ethereal light. I'm going to still say that's craft. So watch A and B. Look at this. There's clearly something happening up in here to leave this tract, you know, diff burst of different kind of color signatures. This even looks like a downturned uh, pink <laughs> triangular form. And then what the heck is going on here? What's this thing at B.1? And then why do we have this burst of like whiter color, you know, with this pink, pink and red, red? See what you think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now this gets interesting looking northwest. Again, this weird looking light above. And even now, it, if you look at the void, you know, the whiter color here, it, said it kind of had like a round form and this curve here. So if we look over here at the enhanced version, here we see it. That's really like a pure circle or nearly pure. And then look at this arc, you know, and this has got like a burn spot of a different color signature while this is going reds and this is going more blues. So what do you see in this scene? And something weird happening here as well. All right, now we're going to look to the east and this is um, the original for the cover slide. And, you know, again, it was just weird storm activity. We're still looking in the same storm, but we're just flipping our attention to the east instead of toward the north and northwest and west. And right away, I saw this triangular imprint. So we look at it with enhancement. And it always really catches my extra attention when things go green. So it's not often when I'm doing this enhancement work that I get this green signature. Yeah, here and there, yes. But it's really um, not the norm. And so, and this one, it's another one. The more you look, the more you're going to find. And like, why is this all so dark right above it? You know, uh, lots of questions with this one. And then we're going to look to the northwest, and this one gets very interesting. So not only do I see right away this big shape. Actually, I was driving around town on this one, <clears throat> and I parked the car, pulled over, because I'm like, what are we looking at? So I saw all these shapes starting to be backlit by the supposed setting sun. And uh, so this was a clear shape emerging. This was doing something else over at E. And then this is going vertical and looking like a fat lemon, you know. <laughs> this is looking like a diamond shape. So there is a lot happening here. And again, I was driving and I noticed it right away. So up here, look at, we even have like a huge, maybe tri triangular form. And then over here, another triangular form. Again, this like lemon-like shape with something happening up in here. And then look at, this is a shape. This is definitely a symmetrical shape happening here. And maybe over here as well. And then what's this spear-like thing sticking out of it? And then over here, look how rigid that line is with texture all over it. And then something else happening beyond and something coming up vertical here. So that in combination with the different color signatures, look, this is more indigo blue, this goes more violet, purple, um, pinks and roses and mauves all over the place with this flash of bright, whatever that is. What is, why is that so bright and intense? The sunset's supposed to be down here somewhere and be more golden, so what the heck? <laughs> see what you see. All right, now this one gets weird too, looking northwest. Look at this thing straight on angle and this coming level. That caught my attention at C, in addition to the weird disturbance happening up here in the upper left-hand corner. So with enhancement, we still see this kind of weird, two distinct objects at two different angles in the sky. Some weird thing moving down this way to a V. And then look at the color signature. This swath is reddish, while everything else is not. And then this looks like a this dark shadow could be a craft. 
when I see everything choppy and fuzzy like this, I, I say it every time, so bear with me if you're returning here. Um, but that's what I call staccato cloud effect or staccato cloud. You see it with the naked eye, it's all choppy and fuzzy. And to me, that means there's cloak and craft above all of that that's disturbing the local atmosphere. So whether it be a byproduct of the energy source of the said craft, <laughs> or whether it be heat emanating off of it and creating like this, you know, mirage effect a little bit, or um, it's it's it maybe it's deliberate electromagnetic wave activity sending out of there or some kind of frequencies to do it. I don't know, but in this case, the more I look at this, I start to see a triangular imprint here on angle. But at the same time, I start to see, if you follow my cursor, that this is one big craft, like an elliptical shape. If you see this curve, it's like the end of it. So see what you see in this whole little mess here. Now we're going to zoom in on, on these guys at C.1. And look at, that's one pure form. And then this one coming across with a little bit of texture to it. And here was my alternate cover slide. So look at this. This kind of jag has like a jagged edge, very calculated. Look at these angles, it's all very sharp. Cloud would not, a regular natural cloud would not do that. And then here we got some texture, definite texture going on on this independent shape. And then what the heck is going on in this little blur out in the back, hard to say. Okay, now we're gonna look to the Northwest and there's a lot going on here too. We looked at, let's just jump to the right hand enhanced version. Now what's weird is there's a dark imprint going on here. Don't lose sight of the color signatures. It's flashing gold and white, bright white and then also greens and blues. And then a really weird, interesting, distinct pattern. Look at this, it's developing on the top of this. We'll look at that in a second. So what is going on? Is this, this looks like the bottom of this overall shape happening here with some like cloaking material happening in front of it. Let's see if we can get a better glimpse. So here's that weird pattern going on, very distinct pattern going on there. With enhancement, that's about as good as I can get. But you can just see these weird little flame-like tips coming up out of this thing. And this whole thing is very questionable. What's going on with this? And it's clearly distinct from whatever is happening down here. And uh, see what you see. Okay, now this is looking actually northwest I have here. It's really west. Okay. Um, look at this shape down here doing its own thing. What gets really weird is that this arcs this way and this comes up this way. And there's something happening up here. And look at this outline to this perfect, you know, elliptical form here as well. Ellipsoidal form. And something also creating a perfect outline around the thing below it. So let's look to the right-hand side with enhancement. Uh, it really all the focus kind of dominates down here at the bottom of the screen instead of up here, what I was hoping to get to. But anyway, we'll focus on the bottom for now. Then look at this pure shape. It's like some kind of like kidney bean or lima bean or, <laughs> bean or something. And then look how perfect this arc is leading to it. That's not a natural cloud, people. <laughs> um, and then this is hooking around. This is coming straight. There's a lot riddled throughout this thing. I invite you to look at it further when you have a little more time. Not to mention again, this is a very artificial feeling sun, very white and glaring beyond. We're gonna zoom in on this thing and we see some more little curiosities popping up when we zoom in. And here with enhancement, we start to see a solid shape back here, a pointed ellipse here, just strange things all over the place. Uh, have fun looking at this and seeing what you can see. Okay, then we're going back to those shapes that I was looking at that were the alternate cover slide. After a little time has passed, they're starting to um, become unglued or like lose their form a bit. I really want to know what's going on in here. Uh, it looks like something has propelled itself, you know, up and out of whatever is going on in there. And with enhancement, uh, this is kind of all I get to. Uh, look how symmetrical this thing is. You know, look at that arc, like look at it like an angle. This could be a craft in and of itself that's like shooting something out of it. Uh, or it could be any number of things. See what you think. I do like the color signatures on this. Very interesting palette where we've got bright white, we've got like taupe, like, you know, khaki, and like pale gold, and then we've got this greenish blue teal stuff happening. Very interesting. All right, then we're gonna move on, looking to the north. And in this scene, um, just a lot caught my attention as just being odd. You know, at the top of the screen, this is diving straight down. This is a sharp angle, and then it levels out. Um, this looks like a weird craft in and of itself at sea. If you follow my cursor, it looks like a, um, a curved line to a point, and then a little bit of a straight line, and like another straight line. So like a weird kind of um, elongated triangular shape on its side. 
Um, so we look to the right with enhancement, and I don't get too, at too much what's going on with the overall shape of this, but within that over triangular shape, elongated triangular shape, we see a rigid pattern forming. And so that's what I'm going to focus in on near C.1. We have these intervals, like it looks like little membranes separating these, almost like these could be windows or exhaust ports or something, a band of them. Uh, but we'll get into that in a minute. We'll zoom in again. But look at this thing. This is either shooting up or down, you know, but definitely not natural. And then how do we have this on angle? And then this doing its own thing, this level. Just There's just a lot of strange activity happening here. See what you think is going on. So we're going to zoom in on just that little piece that I was looking at, like, you know, like a curve on the top with a straight line, like a elongated bent rectangle, I mean, triangular form. Uh, we look at it. Here there's like openings to me, you know, little dividers, almost like windows or exhaust holes or something. Um, what is this thing doing? <laughs> uh, I have a lot of questions here. All right, then we're going to look to the east, and the overall scene was just strange how we have this white, white stuff, you know, coming on angle. Well, we have this gray, gray stuff, and these are in the same exact vicinity. They should all be the same color. And then we have an imprint here that looks uh, symmetrical and something very different happening down here. So we look at it with enhancement, and again, this gets my attention, just really weird stuff happening all in here, especially at B.1. Look at this. This looks like it has structure to it, like the top of a, like a, a command deck of a ship or something, if the, if the bow is this way. Anyway, we'll zoom in on just that element because it's looking very intriguing. The straight line, we have this, again, symmetrical imprint here. Put some different enhancement on it, and I can't get it too, too much more, but... It really does look interesting and not like a natural cloud. And then we'll look at just that imprint. Look at this, looks like a little wing, a little wing coming to a point. So it looks like an imprint of a craft to me. See what you think. Here with some enhancement, we get a little more, a little more look at it. Now, actually, it looks like uh, this is part of a bigger craft getting cloaked beyond. Uh, see what you see. And now this is a fun photo coming in from Anonymous. I give photo credit to Anonymous. Um, in the Miami Beach area, so the viewer, the uh, photographer of this, said they saw like this segment of a rainbow, if you look to the left, but it felt more like an orb at the time. But they said, yeah, it was just a weird little segment kind of floating in the middle of nowhere over land. And so we do, uh, do some enhancement. Actually, before I go to the enhancement, Look up at A, we see a sharp line, we see a symmetrical form, and just there's a lot of little weird, look another like triangular imprint with sharp edges there. And then this looks like a pointed elliptical form on angles. So we look to the right hand side, and I wanted to really get in on that rainbow portion. This is all I get, but what's really interesting is, oh hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. What's really interesting is, that right above this rainbow segment, there's like a weird fuzz out, like a gray fuzz out, and it almost looks triangular in form. And so I noticed lately when I see some of these just partial segments, I've caught a few too, and they look unnatural. And then when I've done enhancements, it, they look unnatural because like they're going to a geometric shape and oftentimes a triangle. Hang on, I'm sorry, one more time. Oh my goodness, note to self, I can't use that incense ever again. Anyway, um, here we go. So here's another view now with some extra enhancement on it. And instead of focusing on the spectrum, I uh, brightened it up and put the contrast to catch what's going on up above it. So I could definitely trace out a triangular form right above this. So I got to believe that's a craft sending it down for whatever reason. And then we have a pointed elliptical form. And these are where I see, you know, the triangular forms popping up. So I'm going to go back a second, you know, look to the right. This looks like a whole bunch of triangular segments here, and that's that ellipse, and here's where the triangle would be, you know, when I come here, okay? So, oh, thank you again. <laughs> thank, big thanks to Anonymous for sending that photo in. All right, well, this is the photo of the day, the close of the show, and this is all about click beetles, glowing click beetles. So, uh, no, it's not a roach. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. But uh, for anybody who can't stand them. But this, uh, this little click beetle came up to me actually when I was recording the previous show. And it just sat there nearby my computer. I think it liked the glow of the laptop screen probably. But anyway, uh, these two things glow. And I invite you to look. And actually, here's a, a closer view. 
I, I, I flipped the, the view around, turned, turned the bug around here. So look, at, it has round eyes, big round eyes. Seemed very friendly. Um, and these two points actually glow, and they actually also have glowing larvae. Their eggs glow. I find that really cool. But anyway, uh, here's just a little excerpt I took from Firefly.org. I invite you to go explore this world of the click beetle further. It's really fascinating. Apparently they get their name because if they're turned over or something or they jump an alarm, they make a clicking sound. Apparently they were known to the Egyptians and had special qualities. So just dig around and do your own research on these things. Um, but anyway, I will just say, I'll just take the quote from, <coughs> excuse me, Firefly.org is about glowing click beetles. It glows, but it isn't a firefly. It's actually a type of click beetle, dark brown. It is known as the headlight elator because its lights are on its head. <laughs> they have two small bioluminescent light organs at the back of the head and one under their abdomen. Fireflies, however, have glowing abdominal segments. So that's how you can tell the difference. All right, well, this is probably the only second time I've seen one in my entire life. <laughs> and uh, it seemed really peaceful and actually kind of happy. So that's that. All right, well, oh, let me go back one more time. So I want to say thanks for clicking onto this channel here a while. As always, I wish you tremendous peace and love. Lavender Sky Panther. Bye.